Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to make a picture frame out of a cassette tape case. You know, just one of these. Um, you can get these anywhere really cheap, like 50 cents from like Value Village or like any secondhand store, or if you have any that are just laying around your house that you want to make into something else. So for this you're just going to need, obviously, a cassette tape case and a ruler and a picture that you want to put in. I'm just going to use one of me and my boyfriend. Aww. Scissors and a pencil. You're also going to need some tracing paper. And if you want, after I'm going to decorate it a bit and put some like gems around the edge just to make it more of a frame. So I've got these really tiny little gem things and I've also got some bigger ones. So I'm going to use either one or both of those and just use a glue gun to attach them all the way around after. So now that you know everything that you need to make this, I'm going to show you how to start. So first what you want to do is get a piece of tracing paper and then take your cassette tape. This is just a Rocky Horror Picture Show tape that I have. <laughs> you just open it up, take out the tape, and then take out the little cover card thing. Just like that and you're just going to open it up and then you're going to lay it down on your tracing paper and then just trace around the outside and mark where the folds are and basically on the tracing paper it's going to make a template that you can lay over your picture to figure out where to crop it to fit in so I'm just going to trace around this with a pencil mark the folds and then cut it out all right so I've got my template cut out and I just drew dotted lines where the folds are going to be and now I'm just going to take my picture, I'm going to take the template, this big area right here is where the picture is going to be, and this is where it folds to fit into the case. So you want to line this up over the part of the picture that you want to be in the frame. So I want it pretty much over just both of us there, I'm just going to center it in that area. And then I'm just going to mark with a pencil on... Um, all four corners of the template take the template off I'm just going to get a ruler and draw a straight line down each side and now I'm just going to cut out the area that I've marked off so there we go. Now I've got my picture cut out and I'm just going to take my template again, lay it on top, line it up. It's kind of hard to see but you can see this is the part that's going to be in the frame and these are where my folds are going to be. So now I'm going to take the template off and slip it behind the picture. So now I'm going to mark on the back where the folds are going to go. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll show you how to fold it because folding pictures can be difficult. Alright, so I marked on the back of my picture where the folds are going to go and then I drew a line with a pencil on each mark and I pressed kind of hard so it kind of scores the paper. You can kind of see it on the front. I don't know, it's really hard to show but if you feel it, you can feel the pencil press through pretty hard. So now I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to take my ruler if you're using a cork back ruler like this one you want to flip it over so the cork is up, so the metal is right on your picture. And you're going to line it up on one of the lines where you're going to fold. And then you're going to bend this up against the ruler, just pressing it lightly for now. This is just going to start your fold, and I'm going to do that on both lines that I drew. Just pressing up right along the edge of the ruler. It's going to help make your fold straight and crisp. Okay, so now it's kind of folded and I'm just going to now press it down all the way. So there's one. There's two. So just make sure it's creased pretty good. There. So there it is open and you can see it folds up the same way that the original card does. See? There we go. So there's my case. I'm just going to take my picture, slip it 
right in there. And on the back you can see it fits right in there just like the original card does. You can close it up and there's your picture. And to make it a frame, just open it slightly, like about that much, and it stands up. I'm just going to take the picture back out for now and I'm going to start decorating the front of my case. You could leave the picture in just to um, take whatever you're going to decorate with. You're going to use these little gem things. You can put the picture in there and then just sit these on top just to decide what looks the best. And to attach my gems, I'm just going to use a hot glue gun. Just, you know, put some glue down and then take the gems and just place them on all the way around. Alright, so I'm done decorating my frame. This is what it looks like. I decided to use the little gems. I just alternated blue and white. Or clear, I guess. So, looks like that. Ha! Huh, I can see myself. So now I'm just going to take my picture, slide it right back in, close it up, and there we go. Got a little frame picture. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> so then I'll just show you again how you can get it to stand up. So it's closed. I'm just going to open it like that much and just set it down. There you go. You have a freestanding picture frame. And another thing, if you want to make this a gift, it would be really super cute. Like if it's for a boyfriend or girlfriend, you take a picture like that of the two of you. You could actually make a mixtape of like all your favorite songs or your special song or just music you listen to together. Just take the tape that you made, put it inside, and then, you know, it doubles as a picture frame and a mixtape case. So, I hope you have fun making little cassette tape picture frames. Thanks for watching. Bye.